collaboration between Hanson Robotics and Dubo, Rainbow Robotics, and the University of Nevada Las Vegas Drones and Autonomous Systems Lab. I now have a walking body. Yeah, very nice move. Search and rescue robot. Henson Robotics has created these lovely new arms, useful for grasping, for pick and place applications, which lets me grasp the My voice, you'll have to use her uh, handheld mic. Right? Hey, okay, good to see you. Shaking hands. Yeah, I love learning good. these polite gestures. <laughs> Robots can do amazing things like, uh, you know, uh, build our cars in factories. Uh, however, they can't uh, very effectively, you know, walk down the street to the store and buy a, a carton of milk. Uh, so now we're talking about a platform for performing next generation research in artificial intelligence and real world uses to help people. We're really aspiring for Sophia to help people in medical applications, therapy, medical assistance, and uh, by giving her a body, then that means that Sophia can help uh, to learn to work with us in factories and help us around the home. Eventually, we expect that she will be truly alive and with us in our world, helping people on a daily basis. No, 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 no. All right. Four. Human biology is very different from, uh, from robot physiology. So uh, the, the nature of uh, humans is we've had a few billion years to get it right. And uh, we then can use these kind of springy muscles. We're naturally compliant or, or, or springy, yielding. Um, and so if we fall, then we roll, we bounce, and this kind of thing. We have a very natural uh, calculation process in uh, computing how to walk and run and, and respond to the, to the ground. But robots, all that has to be built from scratch. And so uh, currently, with mechanical engineering practices, it's kind of rigid, which means if a robot falls, it, we have to calculate how to yield. And, um, and it's very easy for robots to break and how to respond when walking. That's very complicated too. So, um, so it's kind of amazing that just in the past 30 years or so, uh, robot engineers have been able to get robots like the DARPA Robotics Challenge Hubo to be able to walk over a variety of complaints, to, uh, terrain, to be able to, to, to bounce and, and run. That's, that's a remarkable accomplishment. That's great. So I have real body. I feel positively liberated. <laughs> okay, so this is a new platform, Rhodes uh, and Autonomous Systems Lab at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. Uh, so we are working on research combining our new grasping arms with compliant control, and we can relate to people in a more human-like way using a variety of bio-inspired techniques. It may take years before we achieve true artificial general intelligence and yet along that pathway we can do very help. Our AI team is really aspiring to use Sophia as a platform for achieving human level general intelligence. That is creativity, the ability to dream and imagine, the ability to have compassion and that's another way that the physical body is really important so that the machines can understand what it means to feel human through embodiment, compassion, to feel with us. That's really important for artificial intelligence, I think, 
to be safe in the future so that they can understand what it feels to be human.